This is a training video of the auto refractor for the Baltimore City Glaucoma Screening Program organized by the Wilmer Eye Institute of Johns Hopkins University. Unlock and open the case. With two people, gently lift the auto refractor from the case. Place the auto refractor on a stable surface and connect the power cord. Connect the internet cable to the computer and to the auto refractor's LAN port. Turn on the auto refractor, remove the lens cap, and make sure the base is unlocked. Set up the table with hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes, contact lens cases and solution, eye drops, eyelid tape, and tissues. Please make sure the settings on the screen match the study protocol. At this booth, we're gonna do a general vision test. Uh, the test is not difficult and shouldn't take very long. Before I start, I just need to put your information into the machine. If you please remove your glasses for me, I'm gonna clean this machine off for you, and I'm gonna clean my hands as well. Okay, let me dry this off for you. All right, you're gonna come forward. Your chin's gonna come down to that chin rest. All right, so focus on the house in the distance. Open nice and wide, perfect. Hold nice and wide open. Open, there you go. Good, I'm gonna switch eyes. Blink and open wide, focus on that house. Good. Now I'm gonna bring up a, a chart with letters and numbers and I'd like you to read the smallest line that you can read comfortably. HKNF9. Perfect. Good. All right, we're gonna switch to the left eye. Again, I want you to read the chart. This time I want you to read it backwards for me. 9SNKH. Perfect. All right, I'm going to have you sit back and relax. I'm going to print out your results and send them to the computer. And just make sure they transmit. All right, your results have transmitted into the computer. I'm going to get you on to your next test. Thank you so much for coming today. Thanks so much and do have a nice day. You as well. When storing the machine, turn the power off and lock the base. Unplug the power cord and internet cable. Place them in the case and lock it. Chair is too high or too low for the machine. Instruct the patient that you will either lower or raise the chair if it is adjustable and can be done. Otherwise, ask the patient if they would mind switching chairs to create the optimal height for the machine. The patient doesn't press head firmly against the chin rest or head rest so the camera cannot adjust appropriately. Instruct the patient to make sure their chin is firmly placed on the chin rest and their forehead is all the way pressed against the bar. The patient cannot open their eye wide enough or hold their eye open long enough. Tell the patient they are welcome to blink as much as they want until you instruct them to keep their eyes open. Then ask them to hold it open as wide as they can so you can take a picture. Patient's eye can't focus. Instruct the patient to look directly at the target and hold their eyes still. If the machine still does not take the measurement, ask someone else to try. Patient cannot sit still. Instruct the patient to steady themselves on the table and press their head firmly against the headrest. Patient is misaligned and looking sideways. Ask the patient to take their chin off the chin rest and completely reposition the head. 